Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have finally moved into their new home Frogmont Cottage. The couple have waved goodbye to Kate, William, George, Charlotte and Louis at Kensington Palace ready to start their lives in Windsor. The couple now have a few weeks to settle in before their royal baby arrives later this month. A £3 million renovation was carried out to turn the Grade 2 listed building into a family home, but work overran meaning their move-in date was delayed. The home was gifted to the Duke and Duchess by the Queen last year, with Kensington Palace saying Windsor is a very special place for the couple list most things royal. Most of the details about their new home have been kept secret but there are a few things we do know. The design the couple have enlisted the help of designer Vicky Charles to turn the building into their dream home. Vicky is behind the design of the trendy Soho farmhouse, a favorite hangout of Meghan and Harry and where Meghan is believed to have spent three days on her hand -do. On the Soho House website, she writes, Private homes are incredibly different. The clients come to us because they want the Soho House aesthetic but you have to make it right for that family or whoever lives there in their space, so it's not a cookie-cutter thing. Someone's home is so much more personal. There's the obvious stuff of not worrying about many bars, but there's also a different level of comfort. It's fascinating. Most of the homes we've worked on have been total gut renovations everything from coat hangers to pots and pans, curtains, paint colors and bathroom tiles. Of course there's personal bits here and there and that's important because it makes the home theirs. The nursery with baby Sussex due to make his or her arrival in just a few weeks, the couple have obviously included a nursery in their building plans. They've reportedly picked a gender-neutral design as they don't know if they're having a boy or a girl, and Megan is believed to have picked vegan paints. Some paints use milk products or beeswax as a binder and can be tested on animals before being deemed safe for use. As a result, Megan has opted to use the organic and natural paint co. and is going for neutral whites and grays, reports Sunday, an insider said, Megan has been looking long and hard at paints for the Sussex nursery. Rather than app for fashionable faro and ball paint in favored shades such as Wivet, Pigmoir and Pavilion Grey and Salmon, the Sussexes are much in favor of the organic and natural paint co's are arranged for the nursery. Security Understandably, the couple's home will have to be completely secure. Frogmore Cottage is just 200 meters from the long walk which is open to the public. Other entrances to the grounds are further from their new home some just 500 meters away but are further from open scrutiny, leading to fears they could be easily accessed. It's likely that they will have built a separate annex for their private protection officers who will guard them 24 hours a day. A source close to the operation say planners have also discussed including as state-of-the-art panic room. Speaking before the move can wharf former Royal Protection Officer to Princess of Wales and the Royal Family, said, the costs of building and security arrangements could even balloon to £5 million in the first year. There will have to be major reviews of the security surrounding that property because it is exposed on virtually every side. Whatever happens it will be a dramatic rise to the taxpayer which could have been avoided had they decided to stay at Kensington Palace. A temporary security team could be assembled from Scotland Yard's Royalty and Specialist Protection Branch. A senior security source said, It's a huge task assembling a team capable of working closely with members of the royal family, and it's fair to say this is proving a challenge. Not only because of issues surrounding the move to Windsor and still working in London but the dynamic of their family will be changing soon. Then there is the added structure of the team travelling between Berkshire and London. A granny annex? Some sources suggested the couple might have built a granny annex for Meghan's mum Doria Ragland. There were reports the American was planning to move to the UK ahead of the birth of her first grandchild, but this have not been confirmed. Lots of fancy tech Meghan and Harry's new home is going to be filled with all the latest tech and it's likely that they'll be able to control many different things from their phones. A source told royal expert Katie Nicholl, they are going all out with the refurbishment of the house, and as Harry loves his gadgets, it's going to be very cool. 
they'll be able to control everything from their smartphones. It's understood that one the couple are also having a £50,000 eco-boiler installed, which means they will have access to hot water at all times. Windows is part of the refurbishment Megan has reportedly asked for childproof windows at Frogmore Cottage to ensure their little one is safe at all times. Who is paying for it all? As you can imagine, all this doesn't come cheap. The house itself was a gift from the Queen, so they won't have to worry about paying off a mortgage or anything like that. Security changes, such as a panic room, will be covered by the Sovereign Grant which is met by the taxpayer. Harry and Meghan who are both millionaires in their own right, are expected to pay for any decorative updates. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to get instant news update.